Hey everyone, welcome back to another GitHub tutorial. In this video, we will be focusing on how to commit changes to your GitHub repository. Committing is crucial step in your version control process as it allows you to save your changes and create a snapshot of your project at a specific point in time. Before we begin, make sure you have Git installed in your local machine and have a GitHub repository set up. If you need help with those changes, check out our previous tutorials on installing git and creating github repository so let's begin from the first step that is making changes to your to your files so first of all open your project in your preferred code editor so i'm using vs code so i already have cloned my repository so i will just type code space dot that will immediately open my repository in my vs code now let's make some necessary changes so for that let's go to the app directory in the html i will add a yaw stack here let me add a new file as well here test.html and within that i will add some basic code and let me delete an existing file move to trash okay so we have made some changes now let's check the status of our changes so open your terminal uh, in the root directory of your project or command prompt navigate to your project directory using the cd command if you are not using the vs code terminal if you are using vs code terminal then you if you whenever you will open it it will open the terminal at the root directory of your project by default now run the command git status press enter so this will show you the current status of your repository git will show you which files have been modified added or deleted so next we need to stage our changes to stage to stage your changes for committing use the git add command followed by the file name or directory for example to stage a single file you need to run this command git add file name.js or let's say i want to stage test.html if you press enter then that would be staged and if you type the git status again this time it is saying that this file is showing in the green color because it has been staged and others are still not added to the staging area to stage all modified files you can simply use git add dot and press enter so if you type git status again this time you will see that all of the files have been staged staging your changes tells git which files you want to include in your next commit next we are going to commit our changes once your changes are staged you are ready to commit them so for that use the git com git commit command followed by the dash m flag and commit message in quotes so for example you will type git commit dash m but before that i don't want to use the main branch i want to create a new branch just to show you uh, because i don't want to because this is just a test i don't want i don't want to contaminate the main branch so for that i will use git checkout dash b tmp so this will create a new branch with this name and move all of the changes to that branch all right now on the bottom left side you will see that i am on the tmp branch so now let's type the command git commit dash m and here in the double code i will type the message add login function you can put any message here so just press enter you can see that commit has been made the commit message should be a brief description of the changes you made after running the command git will create a new commit with your staged changes so now it's time to push your changes to the github to push your local commits to your github repository use the git push command but if you are pushing to a different branch or new branch you may need to set the upstream branch using the dash u flag so for example here you can use git push dash u origin and your branch name that is tmp so if you press enter then it will push the changes to this branch and let me be more clear about the dash u or upstream flag that we added here 
So in this command, the dash u flag stand for the dash dash set dash upstream. It is used to establish a tracking relationship between your local branch and the corresponding remote branch on GitHub. When you use dash u or dash set dash upstream flag, Git sets the upstream branch for your current local branch. This means that Git will remember the mapping between your local branch and the remote branch. After setting the upstream upstream branch, you can simply use the git push without specifying the remote and branch names in subsequent pushes. If you don't specify dash u when pushing a new branch to GitHub for the first time, git will still push your local branch to the remote repository. However, it, it won't establish the tracking relationship between your local branch and the remote branch. As a result, explicitly specify the remote and branch names every time you want to push or pull changes. So for example, I will show you. Right now, if you type push, press enter, it is uh, giving you some error and it has failed. But now let me add the push dash u origin and the branch name tmp and press enter. Okay, it will push it. So let's verify our commit push. Here you can see that immediately it is showing that TMP had recent pushes two seconds ago. And if you go to the TMP, it is not visible yet because we have to reload the page first. Now, or you can click on this, uh, on this link as well. It will take you to that branch or you can search from here. So this is the branch. And here you can see that this commit has been made. If you go to this commit, it will show you the history of all of the commits and this is the most recent commit that we just pushed now as we have configured the upstream uh, flag so now if you make another change let's suppose i want to delete the test.html now if you type git status it will it is saying that the test.html has been deleted if you type git add space dot it will add all of the files in the staging area now git status will show you that it is added to the staging area okay now we need to commit git commit my dash m and deleted file press enter now if you type push git push and press enter it will work remember last time when you used this command git space push it failed with the fatal error but this time it has remembered your preferences it will push it to the uh, remote origin and the tmp branch now let's type git push press enter all right now this time it did not throw any error and it uploaded the changes if you reload it then you will find your most recent commit here so so this was a one way to make commits and to upload your commits to the github but if you are using other tools like GitHub desktop version or GitHub or if you are using VS code like my, like I am using or you may be using any other editor. Most of the editors support the Git management in right in your editor. So here, let me make some changes here. I'm going to remove everything from here. Save it. And as soon as you save it on the left side, you will start to see a counter on this icon source control that is saying that one file was modified if you click on that then under the changes section you will see you will see that which file was modified and if you click on that you will see that all of this text was removed that's why it is showing red and on the right side it is saying that uh, this new piece of text was added so now remember we used to add the changes to the staging area so we will do same here as well so you just have to press click on the plus icon that would stage this specific single file or if there are multiple changes then you click on this plus icon and it will stage all of the files uh, at once and then you will not have to add each file one by one so let's do that and now you can see that readme file is under the staged changes area and now this is the place where you will type your commit message. So here I just added some random text in my commit message. And now if you click on the commit, 
it will make the commit now you have to push it to the remote so there is a button here that is a synchronize button so if you click on that or if you click here it will push and pull the changes so for example if there are some commits on github that were not pulled yet and also there are some commits that were not pushed yet like this then if you click on that it will push the changes push the commits and also pull the commits that were not pulled earlier so right now there are no changes that are needed to be pulled but there is one commit that needs uh, to be pushed so let's do that click ok and wait and now if you reload this page that commit message has been appeared here so that's it you have successfully committed your changes to your github repository remember to commit frequently and write descriptive commit messages to keep track of your project's progress some best practices to keep in mind are commit small logical changes rather than large unrelated modifications write clear and concise commit messages that explain the purpose of each commit next use branching to work on separate features or bug fixes and next last one is regularly pull changes from remote repository to stay up to date with collaborators if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below and we will do our best to help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more GitHub tutorials. Happy coding. Goodbye.